All right, we're starting on our backs, going to lie down. <clears throat> so make your way onto your mat. Bend at your knees, let your knees collapse in towards one another to begin with. <clears throat> and just rest your hands on your belly, below your ribs, maybe around your belly button. And take a couple breaths here. Let's take a moment before we practice, before we move, to tune into ourselves. And so how are you feeling today? How are you feeling in your mind? How are you feeling in your body? How did you sleep? And take a moment to Reignite that deep breath within you. And see if you can feel your breath underneath your hands. And then see if you can feel your breath. Press your body against the floor a little bit more. Maybe by the shoulders. Can you relax your head a bit more? And slow down this breath. Let's take three breaths together. Inhale with me. And exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. Inhale, final slow breath in. Slowly, so slowly, let it go. Slowly bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And now just point your toes up towards the sky and grab a hold of your hamstrings. And just give yourself a little massage with your hands. So a little squeeze up and down the back of these legs, the back of the hamstrings, maybe down towards the glutes. And just trying to soften up using your hands manually. <laughs> From here, let's give our ankles a couple circles too. Flex the feet, point, see how they feel. And then gently relax your feet down towards the floor. Feet pointing forwards, hips distance. Bring your heels in close towards you. We're gonna take some bridges. Relax your arms by your sides. Maybe work your shoulders slightly closer towards one another underneath you. Inhale. Let's slowly lift our seat up. Keep squeezing your glutes. Send your hips all the way high. Keep your knees directed forward. Stay at the top. I want you to squeeze everything. Begin to turn on that fire inside. And then slowly release down. Just one more, just like that. Inhale, let's lift up. Press down through your feet. And keep your collarbones broad. At the top, squeezing your seat. Feeling your hamstrings as well. And then slowly lowering down. Now step your feet maybe a foot's distance further away. So we work our hamstrings a bit more. Inhale, let's lift up. Staying here, can you lift your toes up? And then imagine you're pulling your heels towards you, towards your chest, towards this, this um, back part of the mat, I suppose. You should feel even more the hamstrings. Staying here for five, four, three, two, a little bit higher, and one, slowly relax down, hug your knees towards your chest again, point your toes to the sky, give yourself a massage once more. And then we're gonna rock and roll forward. So lift your head first, ears will squeeze, create a C shape for your spine, and see if it feels comfortable to rock on the mat. And come into your seat. Inhale, reach your arms up, take a stretch. Exhale, make your way over your legs into a tabletop. Spread your fingers wide. 
Take a moment to feel the earth beneath you. Even close your eyes and feel that connection. Where is your body touching the floor here? Your knees, tops of your feet. Beautiful. Now from here, open your eyes. Inhale, finding our lovely cow. Stretch your belly, sit bones to the sky. Exhale, push away, rounding. Inhale to neutral spine. Bend your right knee, give your right ankle a couple circles. And now you're gonna engage and recruit the glute, trying to keep the core steady as you lift the right knee up. Now I want you to really use the glute here and not the lower back. Inhale, let's press the heel to the sky. Exhale, bring the knee to nose underneath you. Inhale, press heel to sky. Exhale, nose to knee. Just one more. Exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, coming forwards. Exhale, kick a wall behind you. Really keep that heavy wall away. And bend. And let's kick it away. Feel the air is heavy. And bend. Try to point the toes down. And let's do one more after this. Kicking away. And bend. Slowly lower down. Lift your left toes up. Give it a couple circles. Flex the left foot and start to press the ceiling up. Squeeze the glute. Inhale here. Exhale round. Create space. Tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, rounding and tap. Inhale, reach. So we gotta warm up first. Exhale, under. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, push a wall away. Straighten that leg. And we bend. And we straighten. And we bend. Just one more. Straighten. And bend. Relax the left knee down. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Everybody, find soft knees here. Maybe your knees are bent even more than you think they should be. Push the ground away with your hands. Let the weight in your hands, let the pressure in your hands be even. So not just the heel of your palms, but feel it in your knuckles, pushing the ground and earth away from you. Send your heels slightly to the left. Hips go slightly to the left. And push. Come to center. Send your heels to the right. Hips go to the right. Push. Come back to center. Inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky. Stretch it long. And then slowly bring knee to chest and step it forwards to your right thumb. Take a moment, just a few rocks like yesterday. And now I want you to squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Find your balance as you rise up. Press down through that right foot. Bring hands above or hands to heart. We're going to pulse. You can bend this back knee for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep bending through this front knee. 4, 3, Two and one. Slowly bring fingertips down. From here, step your left foot up to meet your right. Point your toes out. Maybe bring them slightly further apart. Bend your knees and lower your seat. Inhale to look forwards. Exhale, hips to the sky. Relax your head down. Inhale into your malasana squat. Exhale, hips go up. Last time, inhale to your malasa, and exhale, folding. Point your toes forwards, step both of your feet back, let's take a vinyasa. Through your plank, slowly lower your weight to the floor. Inhale, find your first cobra of this morning. Roll your shoulders back, back behind you, maybe bring some movement, one shoulder at a time. Enjoy it. Make your way into your downward facing dog. Bending both knees. Push the ground away. Inhale, left leg goes away to the sky. Stretch the leg. And slowly bend the knee to the chest. Step it forwards. Long spine, a couple rocks. 
Can you keep your breath with you? Smooth, deep breaths. Engage through the legs, press down through the foot. Reaching up, palms overhead or palms to your heart. Let's pulse. Work this front leg, work that back leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fingertips down. Step your right foot forwards. Turn your toes out, maybe even wider with the feet. Lower your hips down. Inhale. Exhale, hips go up to the sky, maybe slightly higher. Inhale, Malasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. One more. Inhale, Malasana. And exhale, Uttanasana. We point your toes forwards. Slowly roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Roll your shoulders back behind you. Inhale, sweep your arms to the side and up. As you exhale, bring your palms to your heart. Sit back in your chair. I want you to find your own resistance here. So really feel your hips going back behind you and then slowly lowering into a little chair you've got behind you. Knees are still pointing forwards. You should have this brace almost at the front of your ankles. See if you can lift your toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. Try to reach your arms behind your ears. As you exhale, bring your ribs in towards your pelvis. And just pulsing for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax belly over thighs. Hips may be stretched towards the sky. Give your head a little nod, uh, a little nod and then a little like yes, no kind of shape just to relax in your neck. And now from here, step your left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Lower your left knee down gently. Push your right knee away so you can place your hand on top of the right knee. Push it away, climbing up. Now staying here for a moment, I want you to have some alignment. So with this right hip that's maybe popping out, try and bring it underneath you. Beautiful. With this right foot and right knee, see if you can bend and find that 90 degree angle. Now press down through the heel, straight down. And now imagine you're pulling the mat back towards this left knee. A lot of stuff going on inside. This right leg is turning on. Squeeze that left knee towards the front. So your right hip is reaching back, left hip is reaching forward. You've got this oppositional force. It's really tough. Let's hold for four, three, Two, and one. Slowly release your fingertips to the floor. Send your left knee slightly further back. So just lift it up and lower it down slightly further back. We'll walk your hands back as you stretch your hips back. Straighten your right leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend your right knee again. Come forwards. And then stretch your hips back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Coming forwards again. Bend. And straighten. Now we stay. Point your right toes up. Firm up through the top of this leg. Trying to keep your spine long. Inhale. Exhale, maybe bend in your elbows. A little bow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. One more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, bow. Stay low. Bring your breath into your legs, into your spine. So whenever we're stretching one side, one side of the body, one part of the body, the opposite side of it should be really strong. So you'll notice we're stretching the, the back of our legs here. So the front of our legs here should be turned on like stone, super strong muscles, just to protect us. Let's come forwards. So that's enough. Place your hands down, lift your left knee, step your right foot back. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, maybe come just halfway down. Inhale your cobra or upward facing dog, staying floating. Exhale, roll over your toes, maybe downward facing dog. 
See if you can stretch your legs a little bit more. Beautiful. From here, lift your heels, bend your knees. Slowly step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising with your chest, sit back in your chair. Reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, try and knit your ribs together and down. We pulse for five, four, slow pulses, three, two, and one. Slowly fold, melt over your legs. Inhale, lift your spine and step your right foot back. Lower your right knee down, cross hands over your left, push away. We're staying here, so begin to breathe. Begin to feel into your body. Press down to the left heel, pull back. Maybe you even see your mat kind of curl underneath you. If you don't have a super grippy mat like mine, you might actually slip a little bit, which is a good thing. Breathing here, staying for four. Three, I want you to, re you to really push down. Two, and one. Bring fingertips down. Send your right knee further back. Start to walk your hands, your hips back. Inhale, exhale. Bend, straighten. Inhale, exhale. Bending, straightening. This time we stay. Inhale. Exhale, strong front of this left leg. Maybe we bow in towards ourselves. There's no perfect way to do this. There's no perfect image of what this should be. One more breath. Try to elongate the spine as you breathe in. You find a bit more depth as you breathe out. Slowly bend your left knee. Hands come front. Lift your right knee off. Step your left foot back. Clear out through vinyasa if you wish. Remember to breathe in as you come forwards. Breathe out as you lift your hips. Spread through your fingers. Spread through your toes on the mat. Take one beautiful breath in and out. Step your feet just slightly closer towards you. Maybe one foot closer. Lift your heels high up. And then lower your heels towards the floor. Lift your heels high up and lower them down. Just two more. Lifting your heels, maybe straight legs and lower. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, lift halfway. See if now you can have just a micro bend in the knee instead of a super bend. Exhale, fold. Trying to really bring your belly, your chest, your ribs, slowly like a sandwich down and over your legs. Inhale, rise, lift up your chest. Arms go up, squeeze your seat. Exhale, palms to your heart. Inhale, relax your arms by your sides. Take a breath, soften your knees again. You can feel you've got this beautiful equilibrium, this balance of front, back, left and right. You're gonna need this balance for this next part for this entire next part of the session. From here, pour the weight into your left foot. Lift your right knee up. Look at something on the wall or the floor that's not moving to keep your balance. Give your right ankle a couple circles. Beautiful. Inhale. As you exhale, release your knee. Find your heart or your hips. And slowly begin to stretch your right leg back behind you. Both knees bent is fine until you get there, until you find, ah, maybe you can stretch both legs to straight. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your left knee deeply. Inhale, push away. And let's bend again. Just one more. Pushing away. And bend that left knee. Straighten that left leg. And bring your right knee to your chest again. Inhale. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale to bend, lift high, exhale, extend. One more, extend, and just swing that foot back, not swinging super fast, slow swing that foot back. 
Step your right foot back behind you. Reach your arms to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hips go back. Straighten your left leg. Inhale, bend. Come forward. Exhale, straighten your left leg. One more and we stay. Exhale, hips to the sky. Straighten the left leg. Lift your left toes up. Strong left leg. Trying to lengthen your spine. If you have blocks, it makes it much easier to stay. To stay alone. If not, just breathing into any space. One more breath here. And bend your left knee. Step your right foot forwards. Inhale to lengthen spine. Micro bend the knees. Exhale, begin to almost walk your skin out forwards and down into your Uttanasana fold. Inhale, lift with your chest. Exhale, palms to your heart. Inhale, palms by your sides. Find that beautiful balance. Maybe sway front and back, right and left. And pour the weight to your right foot. Lift your left knee up. Give it a squeeze as you find your balance. As your right foot finds the floor and your body kind of figures out where it is right now. Release the knee, find your heart or your hips and slowly begin to tip forwards like a, like a seesaw. <laughs> See if you can stretch both legs for a capital T. Breathing here, let's bend this right knee. Push the right foot into the floor to straighten the leg. Bend and straighten. Last time, bend and straighten. Slowly lift your left knee to your chest again. Inhale. Exhale, extend the foot. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. One more. Extend. Bend. And now let's stretch your left leg all the way back from the mat. Find the floor and lift up. Breathe in. Exhale, fingertips frame your right foot. Breathe into length. Exhale, hips sway back. And we come forwards. And we sway. And we come forwards and we sway and we stay back. Breathing here. Lift your right toes, maybe even lift your entire right foot. Just so that you're on the heel. One more breath. Easing into it. And then from here, bend your right knee. Step forwards. Inhale, lengthen your spine. No arms this time. Just reach your arms by your sides. Exhale, chest towards your legs. Arms actively reach behind you. Inhale, chest reaches you front and up. Like your Superman. Reach your palms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Balancing once again on our left foot. Lift your right knee up. Now let's see where this balance and the hamstring flexibility can take us. Find your left hip with your left hand. And see if you can hook into your right big toe with your second and your third finger. If you can't, hold on to the ankle, the shin, or something on your leg. Just don't destroy your own clothes. Breathe in and try to stand taller. Exhale so you can push your right foot into your fingers or your hand in front of you to stretch your right leg towards straight. Maybe try it a couple times. Bend and then push. One more. It's okay if it doesn't go to straight. You can stay like this. Breathing in. Keep it straight. Exhale, bend your right elbow. See if you can fold towards the toes, maybe somewhere. <laughs> That's enough. From here, slowly step this right foot down. Fold all over your legs. Take a moment. Bend in your left knee. Bend in your right knee. And slowly roll up. Let's try the other side. Um, balancing in your right foot, lift your left knee. Find something to grip. See, maybe your toes work this time. And then push through your right leg, open through your heart, stand tall, breathe in. Exhale, slowly push it to the hand, and then bend. Take your time, 
any stretch we ease into it. Maybe this third one we can stay. Maybe we're like this. Maybe you need to bend the right knee just to stand taller. Inhale. Exhale, maybe lean front, bend your left elbow, maybe. Then slowly release everything to the floor. Inhale, arms go wide. Look up, stretch long. Exhale, take your final fold, front and down. Feel free to just hang out like this. Or you can hook your toes. You were already touching your feet. Why not continue? <laughs> Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, if you're hooking your toes, you can bend your elbows in towards the sides of your calf. And as you pull your crown down to the floor in, send your hips up to the sky. Maybe straight legs is like super easy for you. I'm still feeling a little bit sore just from my own stuff, from walking, from life. So I'm not going to go there. So you do you. Stay in here. Just a few more moments. Relax your head. And release your toes if you're holding them. Inhale, lengthen the spine, bend your knees. You're going to sit all the way up to your bum. Stretch your legs forwards. Bend your right knee in. Right foot in towards the left inner thigh. Inhale to length. Exhale, walk your fingertips, your spine forwards. Hold the foot or the floor. Take these undulating breaths. Inhale, curling up. Exhale, bowing in. And then if you're holding, if you're holding onto your foot, it helps you create that beautiful long spine. Let's enjoy two more breaths here. Maybe stay at the bottom. And don't forget the strong top of the left leg. And slowly roll up, but switch. Right leg goes straight, left foot comes in. Inhale for leg. Exhale, walking forwards. Just as far as you feel comfortable. Take those undulating breaths. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull in. Feel free to close your eyes. Let these waves become smaller and smaller. And stay somewhere, somewhere you want to linger. And slowly rolling up. Bring both of your feet together between you, soles of the feet touching. Sitting up tall, just stretch your heart forwards. Exhale, folding front and down. You can round your spine here, a bit of release. Inhale, let's roll up. Exhale, stretch your legs. Feel free to just stay upright and enjoy maybe a bit of seated meditation for the final minute. But if you love Shavasana like I do, then make your way onto the floor. Let your legs be long now. Let your legs be heavy. Rest your arms by your side. And let your breath just flow in and out effortlessly. Can you find a soft face? Let your tongue be relaxed in your mouth. Unclench your teeth. Allow your feet to have some movement. Wiggle through your toes. Maybe let your feet kind of topple left and right. 
And slowly, one knee at a time, bring your knee to your chest. Now squeeze both knees in. And begin to rock <coughs> from your side into a seat. Palms together. Take a breath in. Bowing towards yourself. A moment of thanks. Thank you all for joining me. Hopefully the rest of the day, you'll find that folds are easier than normal. You have to bend down and grab something. Have a lovely day, everyone.